Hey guys, welcome to my new tutorial. Today I want to show you how to create a two-dimensional list of points in Dynamo and I'll be showing you everything in detail so you'll definitely get the, get the hang of it. So let's fire up Dynamo and uh, let's go with new and uh, the first thing that you that would be really a useful thing to do is to save your file so go to save save as name that as list of points go with save and uh, in our case when you want to create when you want to create a two-dimensional list of points you need to start out with creating points so here you need to type point click on these by coordinates and uh, here we have, as you can see, uh, actually, if you want to, you can easily navigate this panel, but if you want to navigate your background, this 3D view, you can use the shortcut Control B. I actually prefer using shortcuts because it's just a good way of, of streamlining your workflow, uh, but you can always find it here by clicking on View and uh, Background 3D Preview. And here you have navigate background 3d view and as you can see the shortcut for it is control plus b so i'm going to click control b and uh, as you can see we can move it and uh, do whatever we want maybe orbit that a little bit around so yeah you can pretty much do whatever you want here so and if you want to kind of turn turn off that option you can click control b again so, and as you can see, we have a point over here. Why is that? Because by default, as you can see, if you hover over each of your uh, coordinates, like you have your X, Y, and Z coordinates, so it has va default value. So, uh, that is the reason why we have here a point. Uh, so, the next step is to uh, you can put numbers like how many points you want to have or actually it's not uh, it's not actually referring to how many points you want you want to have is actually referring to what is the distance like where where you should where you want to locate them so let me show you, you can type here number and I click here and uh, if you put here some if you if you uh, write here something like if you type here something like 2 and uh, drag it here to the X uh, coordinate Oops. as you can see that it will change its location so this number command is referring to is referring to the location of your points uh, not to the how many you will you, have them but what I prefer using is actually you can uh, delete this number what I prefer doing is to what my uh, favorite approach to this is to double click and here you have your code block and you can easily um, here type something like maybe two again and drag it over here to the X coordinate and uh, it's gonna do it's going to do the same thing but it's gonna be fa just faster so after that now we know how we can create points, right? We can need to we just need to type your point, and just uh, we can create our points, and then how to uh, how to control uh, the distance. And actually, the units you use here uh, are controlled. So the units in Dynamo are controlled uh, by your units in in Revit. So if you want to make some tweaks, you need to go to Revit, go with UN is the shortcut for units, and here you have to, you can change the units. The next step is uh, what if you want to create some path, so you want some sequence of, uh, of your points. So how can we do something like that? So let me undock it here, back here, and... Uh, uh, what you can, what you need to type here is uh, is in our case it's going to be sequence and uh, here as you can see you have two options actually that plus sign means that uh, 
it will generate something it will create something so this sequence and range uh, tools you will generate something so I'm gonna be using both both of them so I'll be showing you oops I'll be showing you the difference uh, between them so as you can see they are pretty much you can actually hover over uh, hover over your auto here you can pin that list so here you have list of items and here we can do the same thing so here we have list of items you'll understand everything just later on so as you can see the only difference between these two options these two command is uh, our sequence our sequence command has just has an amount option and our range command has an end option so uh, for example here we have for a code block we have number two and if i were to drag it for example to our amount as you can see what will happen it will just change the amount of it it's better to actually let's change it too so it'll be easier for you to step so now as you can see we have a list of uh, 9 of 10 actually because it starts from 0 so we have 10 uh, 10 items we have our list and in our list we have a bunch of items so uh, on the left side this is referring to how many you want them so by default it has 10 so actually it will it will always stay the same so for example here we change this step to 2 so if I if I were to drag it from that to X as you can see we will have 10 items so this is referring how many you have them uh, we have 10 of them and here we have 10 and uh, the right side is referring to is referring to the location of them so if, if I change that to one, the as you can see the distance between them will be smaller. So that is the, the the point of it. But if I were to go to our range and change this step to one, or maybe it's better to change it to two. Let me show you. It, it'll be better to change it to two. So as you can see here. Uh, as you can see uh, on this list we have 10 numbers we have 10 items and uh, we, we'll just we'll just change we just change the distance of them but when you use your range command you have your by default you have nine uh, your your value by default is nine what that means that uh, that is referring to the right side of it so here as you can see your amount your default value is 10 so you'll always have 10 numbers 10 items but that range tool is referring to that right side so if your default value is 9 uh, the maximum of this number could be 9 so here we change the code block we have the code block with number 2 we uh, drag it to the step so it means the step between each point will be 2 and it goes like from 0 to 2, from 2 to 4, from 4 to 6, from 6 to 8 and it stops before the next number will be 10 but our end is, uh, is, is, is by default 9. So that is the reason why, th that is actually the difference between these two, between sequence and range. So it has some certain amount that is, uh, that is referring to that left part and your range is referring to that right part. So that is your value. So now actually you can even, but actually what, do you, what happens if you want to create this, uh, what is the point of that video to create a two dimensional list of points? So maybe you can, th you can think that by dragging it dragging it over here and going to the y direction it will create a two-dimensional list of points but it's not because uh, actually uh, 
because it's creating how that things is if you go to outer outer and to hover over it uh, click here and pin that so here as you can see we have five points because we start again from zero and uh, it just creates as you can see at the center of our uh, coordinates uh, because it takes the zero number from your sequence it takes the zero number from your range put that here and the same uh, the same uh, the same goes for your this part so it takes the value of two from the from the uh, x direction it takes the zero two from the y direction and put uh, and put that and put put that in on the center at the center of your coordinates so let me just i want to undock it kind of to move it back here and uh, what i want to do is to make them equal so we'll have 10 points so i'll have from here to y and uh, here we have 10 points and uh, let's gonna move it over here uh, and uh, now I'm going to be showing you how to actually create this two-dimensional list of points. Actually, you've done everything, and now you're you're set uh, to to create this two-dimensional list. You just need what you need to do is to just right-click on this point by coordinates, and here you have the option like lacing, and you can go to cross product, and uh, there you go. Let me unpin that. There you go. You have this two-dimensional list of points, and uh, uh, I'm gonna be uh, explaining about lacing later on in some in some other videos. But that's it. So the point of that video is to create these points, uh, is to create a list of points. But and uh, how you can create it? You need to first of all, you need to have your point command. You can you need to type your point and you'll have this point by by coordinates then you need to type sequence and uh, you have these two op these two options sequence and range and uh, by inputting some numbers you can use your number uh, command here number or what I prefer using is to just double click and you will have your uh, code block so that's it for today guys uh thank you for watching i hope i hope you like this video and uh if you find that video useful and informative please uh subscribe to my channel and if you have any suggestions please leave them in the on the comment in the comment section below and uh have a nice day